Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying an assortment of acapella for you. We These two are barks, and then Kevin has some caramels. Uh, so I have the Irish Cream Mud Pie Dark Chocolate Bark, Strawberry Shortcake White Chocolate Bark. This one is the Bourbon Caramels, um, Merlot, Dark Chocolate with uh, Red Lava Sea Salt. Hmm. And then um, these are apple caramels with sugar crystals. So these are uh, made in Fresno, California. And it's www.debbas uh, -E gourmet. I believe that's what it says. It's a very, very uh, small writing. Um, let me see if I can read it better on this one. D-E-B-B-A-S gourmet. Okay. So... We, these two, we have to actually weigh, uh, but the rest of them, it goes by piece, the calories. So this is the Berry Shortcake White Chocolate Bark, a new take on an American classic crafted with real white chocolate, strawberries, blueberries, and crunchy graham crackers. Enjoy the sweet taste of summer in every bite. It sounds delicious. Sounds good. A uh, fourth of the package, 28 grams, is 150 calories. And these were $4.99 a bag at Jungle Gems International Market. I've never seen this brand anywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, these are big. Gosh, they're, uh smells good. Uh, there's four pieces in here that I can see. So. But it says a fourth of a bag, so I wonder how accurate they I want are. you to see how chunky. Let's see. Okay, that is way too much. Okay, there's a smaller one. Hold on. There's literally like four hunks in here, yeah. and that's it. For five dollars. What is the twenty-eight? Almost. Nope. Oops, I'm trying to put it in the bottom of the bag. That won't work. Well, there's twenty. And that's 31, so that's close enough. Um, yeah, so you get a hunk. If you really wanted to, you'd have to wait. Yeah, you, you get a, basically a hunk uh, for your serving size. <laughs> Bless Excuse you. Yeah, that has a berry on it. Oh, yeah, there. it has a dried strawberry and blueberry. That's good, you really get the berry flavor from mm -hmm. it. I like that very much. Mm -hmm. um, it's getting soft too, the chocolate's not crisp, it's kind of a softer chocolate. Yes, I do think it tastes good. Uh, this would be um, uh, something that, honestly, you could do this at home if you wanted. You could if you bought all the stuff. Mm -hmm. But yes, that's the thing, is you, um, you're gonna be buying all that stuff, and so it's gonna add up, and then you're gonna have to go to the trouble of making it yourself. Uh, this was a really good idea mm -hmm. it's very good. to put like healthier items in with that white chocolate. It has a really, really good flavor. I like that. And on the back it says, uh, if you're wondering why it's called acapella, it says, mmm, ooh, yummy. One bite and you'll be singing acapella. Remember being a kid in a candy store when chocolate made you sing for joy? For too long, chocolate has gone down the path of one note flavors and flat innovation. At acapella, we let the rhythm at our, of our imagination guide the creation of our confections. Packaged with unique ingredients and real chocolate, our ensemble of chocolatiers handcraft each piece in small batches to compose a sweet harmony of flavors. One bite at a time, acapella hits all the right notes. 100% real chocolate handcrafted with real fruit, made in-house by world-class chocolatiers, Crafted in small batches, mouth-watering, bold flavors. So that one was successful. This is a, also a bark, so we're gonna weigh up. 28 grams is 140 calories. And this is the Irish Cream Mud Pie. And it's, look at that big hunk. <laughs> so you know that's gonna be way too much. It goes. 
Okay. You don't get, look. Wait, the, that's 24. Oh, okay, well, that's close, that's 24. Okay, so Irish cream mud pie, dark chocolate bark. A classic dessert with a twist. This snacking bark is crafted with dark chocolate mixed with fresh roasted espresso beans, which I can smell. Crispy chocolate cookie crumbs and a blend of coffee, liqueur, and Irish cream. Okay, so that is 140 calories. You can smell the coffee. Well, that wasn't 140 calories. I put that big hunk on there. It was small. <laughs> well, that's got a really dark flavor. Mm -hmm. I think if you like dark chocolate and raw, like those coffee beans that are crunchy, you'll like this. I think this is one of those snacks that Not for me. if you're craving some chocolate, this is something that's going to last you longer than most chocolates because it is so dark, but you really get a punch of flavor and it's going to, you're not going to eat a lot of it. You know, you're going to break off a, a small piece and be able to eat that. And I think you're going to be very satisfied with it. I really like the textures in it. It has uh, the crispy crumb cookie crumbles in it. The espresso is strong. I very much like, and I'm not a dark chocolate like lover, but I do think that was very successful. I would never eat that again. Really, it's way, it was way too, dark too dark for, for you. And I yeah. do not like the texture of coffee beans. Oh, is it? See, so for me, everything about it worked perfectly. For Kevin, it's like yeah. crunching on a, a bug's yeah. shell. It always reminded me really, of that's a beetle shell. Yeah, and that's fair enough. You know, some people feel that way. That's that's fine. Not um, for me. But if you like that combination, they did a good job. Yeah, oh yeah. If you like dark chocolate and, and espresso, like really strong, uh, more bitter flavors, then you'll like that. Okay, this is dark. This is dark. This is dark. This one is the only milk uh, caramel. So this is... Milk chocolate apple caramel with sugar crystals. And I don't know, it's hard to tell how big they're gonna be. It says two pieces of 110 calories. So this uh, this is an indulgent. Are you gonna, oh yeah, size. oh yeah, you can have that definitely. Oh, and it has little green crystals. Yeah, it, it's got crystals of salt. It has, it has green crystals, though. I don't know oh, if you can see it. Oh, I don't know if you can tell Yeah, green. in the yeah, picture, they're green. they're green. You can see they're green. Do you so, want another half of that, or are you okay? Oh, uh, we'll try this. I think I could have eaten half of that. We could have, but it's hard to tell. Mm -hmm. So if you give me another now one. we'll know. Um, it's good. I didn't really get much apple though. A little bit, but not not a lot. I mean, I do get apple. It takes a little while. Yeah, I wanted that burst of apple, and you don't really get that. it. It um, it does take um, take a minute to get the apple. And you don't want it too strong because you don't want it to overpower the flavor of the caramel. It's a great quality caramel. It's um, now this one's it's just... sweet and it's very thick and it's a big enough piece to where it's going to last you a while. I thought it was good because I don't want something that, I don't want green apple like like um, That's a tart. Like, a, what are those blow pops? I don't want a blow pop apple. This tasted more like a natural apple. So I, I like that. Uh, this one is called, it's dark chocolate as well. It's called Red Lava Sea Salt. But you know, I don't get the dark, uh, there should be. And it's 110 calories for two. Um, with that one, I don't get the, um, I don't get the bitterness for the dark chocolate. Even with the apple, I don't get a bitterness from the dark chocolate. But, um, oh my goodness. It's very, very good. I love the salt. The salt is excellent. The salt is number one. Yeah, it's very, very good. Lots of salt. And that's the first thing you get. Oh my gosh. And you know what? I can't even tell that's in dark chocolate. No, that's what I'm saying. You don't get the bitterness from the dark chocolate at all. It's The salt is the first thing you taste and the last thing you taste. That's mm -hmm. I mean, in the caramel... Is absolutely incredible. You would never ever know that that was dark chocolate. That is 
terrific. That is like my favorite thing we've had. Yeah, oh and yeah, I mean, great. everything's been great quality, but I mean, my goodness, the flavor of that is awesome. Yeah, this should be like a salty mm. caramel. That's really good. Uh, let's see, let's do Merlot. Maybe. And I like the packaging too. I like that they uh, have individually wrapped packages in here. And it opens real easy too. Uh, these are all, two pieces are all 110 calories. Of the caramels. Now, of course, I would. And you know what? They put them in resealable packages, but, but then no again, reason. they're all, no, there's really no reason to because they're all individually wrapped. I wonder if they could save some money on these bags. I'm just gonna have to Go for it. cut it. But yeah, because I, um, did that hit you in the face? No, it didn't. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, what is the, this one is the Merlot. It's definitely not a bad flavor at all. I think it's strong. It has like a berry, like a grape flavor. Do you get like a little underlying grape? Oh yeah, definitely. Um, yes, I definitely see what he means by grape. It's uh, the Merlot is it's a strong flavor, um, much much stronger than the apple. Although, like I said, I respect that flavor of the apple. I like that. It was just enough. But this Merlot, if you're looking for something stronger, and it does remind you of the wine. Of wine, wine it's a very, that, it's delicious. Yeah. I wouldn't have ever thought that, that to put those flavors together. It's very good. And the last one is bourbon. Hmm. I'm starting to get it now. Oh yeah. At first it was almost like a fruity flavor. I know, at first I thought, that's not the bourbon we're used to. Yeah, it was almost fruit, literally like fruit. But then you got, it kind of develops into that oaky mm -hmm. bourbon kind of flavor. Mm hmm That's good too. And that's exactly what it, it's, it's oaky. Woodsy, yeah, yeah, it's woodsy. It really is. That's good. The best one is the salt. The best one is the salt. Out of the caramels, the best one is the salt. I'll, I'll, although I really like them all, I like the bourbon one. Um, I would, if I was going to put them, uh, my number one and number two, it would be the salt and then the Merlot. Mm, I'd probably do the salt and the bourbon. But now, and the I, apple was good. It just didn't have a lot of apple flavor. I didn't think. I think these are delicious, and I like the barks. I know the dark. The dark one, I did it was too much for me, but right. the other one was good. The berry but for people really who love coffee and dark chocolate. You're gonna love these, and mm -hmm. I, I they're, they're good quality. They're very, very good quality. Uh, Four ninety nine at Jungle Gems. I have never seen these anywhere else but Jungle Gems. Not so, at least. Yeah. So please comment below if you've seen this brand, if you've tried this brand. Let us know. There may very well be other varieties out there. This was all that they had at Jungle Gems. So if you know of more flavors, let us know. I'm always curious because this is something to wear. If I saw it again, I would absolutely have no trouble buying it at all because yeah, it's that good. Um, and so I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.